A celebration of pride, Tolson celebrating Cinco de Mayo. There have been numerous celebrations across green country. And in downtown Tulsa, the partying started early. Fox 23's Danica Lawrence joins us live from 6th in Boston with all the excitement, right, Danica? Yes, Frank, happy Cinco de Mayo. This area has been transformed. Just a couple hours ago, a pinata was dropped right above me, and now in its place, there's a baby luchador ring where the kids are just having fun. One of the newer traditions in downtown Tulsa for the 5th of May. Downtown Tulsa turns into Latin America. Cinco de Mayo traditions like mariachi music to luchador fighting. That's Elote restaurant's biggest draw, besides their puffy tacos. Which is very delicious and kind of spicy. It's about the Mexican wrestling. We was hoping to get her in the ring, hoping to get her some matches. I think we'll keep the little lioness out and let the rooster fight this one. And even with the tecate and the margaritas, Tolson still remind us why we celebrate. I know that a lot of people think that it's Mexican Independence Day, but it's not. It's just a celebration of a battle that Mexico won over the French in the 1860s. The most anticipated event of downtown Tulsa Cinco de Mayo, a 400 pound pinata going up six stories. And that means that's 400 pounds of candy coming down. Children racing for thousands of candy. That's a tradition Tulsa kids want to keep, along with the losing luchador dunk take. <laughs> of course, there's always a winning chance for the next 5th of May. Just a couple blocks away, El Guapos is hosting another festival, so make sure you hit up both spots when you come down tonight. And also make sure you have a designated driver. Tulsa police are beefing up patrol for the night. Reporting live from downtown, Danica Lawrence, Fox 23 News.